Uh, my name is Richard Spencer, and I'm the president of the National Policy Institute. And I'm also the editor of Washington Summit Publishers and Radix, um, which is a, an online webzine and a selection of books that we publish, original writing. And um, it's all under the umbrella of the National Policy Institute, which issue, issues reports and will hold conferences like the one that we're holding in Budapest under duress, <laughs> or under persecution, rather. And how can we work together? And I mean, I think, you know, sometimes it, it might seem impossible uh, because there, there have been these divisions, there have been wars uh, between us uh, for quite some time that there seems to be these really strong divisions, there seems to be bitterness. So we have a, a huge challenge. But at the same time, despite that history of divisiveness, we also have all of these things pushing us together. Um, the internet and communications. Um, I think probably 25 years ago, the, the amount of communication between a, a French identitarian and an American identitarian was probably, it was absent. There was no, you know, there, there was a language problem. There, there's just, you didn't know how to even compare notes. And I think that's really changing. And so we have that pushing for us. Uh, I think that even with mass immigration, I think a lot of Europeans begin to, in a way, understand themselves as European, as white people. And the sense that in vis-a-vis uh, -vis a African, the African does not see you as a, uh, a Welsh person or as a German or as a Russian. He sees you as a European, as in a white person. And in a way, this, this experience of mass immigration has, has allowed Europeans to kind of discover something that Americans discovered uh, a long time ago. And that is the, the reality of race and the importance of race. And so I think, in a way, we have a lot to learn from one another. And despite this history of differences, there are a lot of other forces that are bringing us together. The fact that I'm speaking here, I'm speaking English, hopefully your uh, audience can understand it, but we can, we can use English in a way as a lingua franca, the role that French uh, played for, for quite some time, that we can use English as a lingua franca, that we can communicate on the internet, we set up this interview <laughs> through email, we can communicate and work together. There are just all these forces that are allowing us to come together. And I think that when we do, we find that we have so much more in, in common. Um, you know, I can, I can speak with Frenchmen, and uh, despite some divisions, uh, we, we really resonate with one another. We're, we're one. So, you know, again, I'm, I'm very optimistic for, for just this notion of Europe coming together.